Agustin Farabundo Martí Rodríguez was a Marxist-Leninist activist and a revolutionary leader in El Salvador during La Matanza. House where Agustin Farabundo Martí, was born in Teotepec, El Salvador Martí was born in Teotepec, a farming community located in Departamento de la Libertad, El Salvador. After graduating from St. Cecilia's Salesian Secondary School Santa Tecla, he entered the University of El Salvador. Early on, he condemned the exploitation of the country's poor was for the profit of the rich. He became known as a Salvadoran revolutionary and, for many, a martyr. Categorized by Miguel Marmol, in his testimonio, an intellectual but a proletarian-like young man, Martí decided to drop out of his political science and jurisprudence program at the University of El Salvador to fight for his community and nation. In 1920, he was arrested for taking part along with other students in a protest against the Melendez Quinones dynasty, which was ruling the country. His arrest subsequently led to his exile from the country, and he took up residence in Guatemala and Mexico until his return to El Salvador in 1925. Augusto Sandino Farabundo Martí Returning from exile, Martí was appointed as a representative to go to the conference of the Anti-Imperialist League of the Americas in New York City. Upon arriving in New York, he was once again arrested and then released. In the meantime, he worked with Nicaraguan revolutionary leader Augusto Cesar Sandino. Martí and Sandino in Mexico Martí became involved in the founding of the Communist Party of Central America, and he led a communist alternative to the Red Cross, called International Red Aid, serving as one of its representatives. Its goal was to help poor and underprivileged Salvadorans by the use of the Marxist-Leninist ideology. In December 1930, at the height of the country's economic and social depression, Martí was once again exiled because of his popularity among the nation's poor and rumors of his upcoming nomination for president the next year. Once the new president was elected in 1931, Martí returned to El Salvador and, along with Alfonso Luna and Mario Zapata, began the movement that was later truncated by the military. They helped start a guerrilla revolt of indigenous farmers. During that time he was acting as the interim general secretary of the party. He started a revolt of indigenous farmers against the dictator Maximiliano Hernández Martínez, culminating in the president's massacre of up to 40,000 Native American peasants in 1932. Marty was captured, tried, and then executed by firing squad that same year. The communist-led peasant uprising against dictator Maximiliano Hernández Martínez, fomented by collapsing coffee prices, enjoyed some initial success. But was soon drowned in a bloodbath, being crushed by the Salvadoran military ten days after it had begun. Over 30,000 indigenous people were killed at what was to be a peaceful meeting in 1932, this became known as La Matanza. President Hernández Martínez, who had himself toppled an elected government only weeks earlier, ordered Martí shot after a perfunctory hearing. Thanks for watching.